a great resource for molding profiles are actually AutoCAD uh, files. Uh, many manufacturers include uh, CAD drawings of their moldings online, as well as uh, lumber yards a lot of times have catalogs of uh, CAD files available for the moldings that they stock. Uh, one of my local yards, uh, T.W. Perry here, has a, they say 250 uh, uh, profiles in stock. They've got a PDF catalog and they've also got a uh, uh, CAD profile uh, library available here. I've downloaded the uh, PDF catalog uh, help me uh, find the moldings I'm looking for and I can reference them by number. This is the uh, PDF and if I scroll down you can see uh, all the uh, different uh, profiles there uh, listed in order, casings and uh, crown and so on. I'm going to go uh, page 22 so we can uh, look at this uh, profile here it's a standard uh, semi-recta crown profile it's WM49 uh, this is the uh, profile we're going to use in this uh, quick example we'll go uh, back to the uh, website and we'll go to the download CAD profiles uh, I've already uh, selected crown as my category and this is a list of all the crown profiles uh, we'll grab one of these WM49s Click it and DWG uh, export. I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it in my uh, desktop so I can find it. And we'll save this. Uh, I've already got it in there, so I'm going to overwrite it. Yes. All right, we'll go back to our uh, SketchUp drawing. We'll go to the file menu and down to import. Uh, we're on our desktop. We're going to go down and find our CAD uh, file, which is WM49. Uh, if you don't have uh, the uh, file type selected as AutoCAD, say we had uh, JPEG, uh, that's going to filter out those files, and you'll look through your uh, desktop all day trying to find that file. So just make sure you've got it uh, selected to AutoCAD, and that'll show the AutoCAD files that are available on my desktop in this case. So there's WM49. Uh, the other thing we want to check real quick is the options menu. Make sure your units are set to inches. Um, your three and a half or three and five eighths inch uh, molding may end up being uh, three feet five eighths uh, if you don't have this set correctly. So we've got that set and we'll hit open. Uh, well, this little menu will come up and tell, tell us everything that's been imported. We'll just close it and we'll run into plan view here and we'll move down and take a look at our profile. Uh, this uh, line drawing came right from AutoCAD and AutoCAD only has lines or edges. It doesn't have faces like SketchUp. Uh, we can create a face in SketchUp by just redrawing any one of the uh, lines. Uh, obviously the straight line would be the easiest to do, so I'm just going to redraw this line and a face will automatically be created. Now we could go ahead and make this a component, give it a gluing plane like I uh, did in some of the previous videos, but there's an extra step we can uh, go through that'll uh, save us a lot of time in the end. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If I grab push-pull here and pull my molding, this probably looks like a lot of the molding profiles you're used to using in SketchUp. Uh, you get all these uh, lines on the curved faces. Sometimes you may have lines even on the flat sections. Uh, normally you deal with this, just run smooth softened edges and uh, you're ready to go. Um, what you can do is get rid of this and save yourself the time of running smooth softened edges and at the same time decrease the file size uh, that the drawing is taking because all these lines have to be accounted for. To understand what's going on here, if we grab the select tool and I uh, touch this edge, you'll notice that this edge isn't really one continuous line, it's individual line segments. There we go. So every time we push pull or run follow me, every break in that line is going to create a, a line perpendicular to it. Um, the way we're going to handle this is to use a Ruby script. Uh, it's called Weld, and it's uh, once you've loaded it, it'll be in your plugin menu here. What I want to do first is uh, select my curve, and we'll go to the plugin menu again. Hit Weld going to ask me first do I want to close the curve. Basically what this is uh, going to do is create a line from one point to the other. That's not what we want. We're not trying to create another face. So we'll select no and the second question will be find faces of this curve which is yes. 
And now if I select this line, you can see the entire thing is selected. It's one object. I'll do the same thing down here. And looks like I missed the bottom portion of it, so I'll just use the uh, Shift key and the Select uh, tool to uh, add to the original selection that I uh, had first. We'll run uh, Weld again. Again, we'll answer no to the first question and yes to the second question. So now that line and that line are uh, continuous lines. And the difference it makes is when we push pull it, we now have a smooth profile on all these curved sections. Now we could select the entire uh, group of lines, weld those together. But what's going to happen is you'll end up softening these edges of the fillet to, that you really want to remain crisp. Um, so that's it. Uh, now that we've uh, fixed it, we can go ahead and make a component out of it, put a gluing plane, change the axis, and store it in our library, ready to go.